Hey everyone and welcome back. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see my Trader Joe's haul. So I spent like, I want to say $100 at Trader Joe's. I'll look at my receipt just to make sure. Um, I ran in there after an appointment, just got a bunch of fruits and vegetables. I know for sure this is going to last at least a week, if not hopefully a little bit more, but we'll see. And um, let's just jump right into it and I'll explain to you guys what I got and why. So this is my haul kind of in a different place in my house. So it's kind of like my dining room over here, but just some fruits and vegetables. So started out, I got a pineapple and some cucumbers and grapes actually. So I got two different kind of grapes because I'm taking my son to a water park tomorrow and I thought I would have some snacks like that to take with us. Um, and I also have some watermelon and some oranges that I might peel up as well to take with us but that's mostly why I went in there I really went in there for grapes and then look what happened Whew, does that happen to you guys pineapple cucumbers these were not the organic ones but I just grabbed these really quick um, I wanted to try this dressing I keep I think I've bought it once before and then I forgot about it it went bad so I'm going to try one more time because I really wanted to try it. Broccoli, some mushrooms just for roasting. These are just for roasting in general. Um, I showed you all that. These are just more cucumbers, zucchini, bananas. I got some peppers because I wanted to make some stuffed bell peppers. Um, apricots because they looked really good. And then the squash looked really good too. Um, cheese just for snacking. And I actually got non bread and pepperoni and the cheese right here the mozzarella cheese because I heard somebody making non-bread pizzas and I thought that that'd be fun I thought my kid would like that um so I wanted to try it I actually got some of this salami because I snack on it laughing cow cheese kind of for a snack and these are all kind of some snacks as well except for these they're for tacos and so I got corn tortillas. These are really, really good if you haven't tried them. They're super fresh, really nice. Also got some almond flour ones that I wanted to try. Never tried these before. Two things of spring lettuce. And these are some, some snack things. I've never tried these PB&J cups, but I thought they would be a fun snack for my kid for the summer. Just a treat. Got these maybe to take tomorrow with me. Sorry, I have some fruit flies. I had to try these cookies and these are actually my favorite cookies from there. The pink and white shortbread cookies. So good. Yeah, I think that is everything here before my camera dies. So that is all of what I got. All right, guys, let's start on our haul here. So I kind of grouped everything together to give you all an idea of like kind of what I'm making and all of that. So three bags of limes. I know that's super excessive. I am making margaritas though and not with mix or anything like that. I'm going to squeeze the limes. I actually got a bag of oranges because you have to take fresh lime juice, fresh orange juice, you use agave, you put this on the rim, the tahini, and it's actually a jalapeno margarita. So I got a dozen jalapenos. These are our staples for me and my girlfriends when we hang out. Literally, anytime that it's nice outside, it's good weather, and it's not winter, we have these jalapeno margaritas. So I might make a whole video on them, so stay tuned. Other easy thing is I got these wonton wrappers, and I got a chopped Caesar salad kit. So what I do is just bake these up, make little cups out of them, put the salad, I like chop it even finer, and then put it in there. Y'all, it sounds really weird, but it's really, really good. Pinterest find. So awesome. Another staple, pigs in a blanket. This was at my husband's request. So that's what he wanted. I actually got flour and sugar because I was out of them. I made some jam the other day and I ran out of sugar. Um, but I think I am going to make a bread bowl and um, look for that video. If I have made it, I'll put it in the description below. But I'm going to make kind of like a Tuscan kind of hard bread and make a bread bowl out of it. So I needed to make sure I had flour and sugar This right here is all for a Neiman Marcus dip. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of that, but you use mayo use um, 
cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, and you have to shred this, slivered almonds, um, chopped bacon, and green onions. Mix it all together, it's amazing, and I think that's what I'm gonna put in the bread bowl. So the spinach, the turkey, the non bread, and the bacon are for a little appetizer where I had a friend, we went to a party, and she put little non breads and basically made these little clip like club sandwiches. So I was looking for the mini ones. They didn't have them, of course. So I'm going to cut these ones down, I think, and use them, and I think it'll be great. Then um, just some carrots because, and I might put them in a charcuterie board. I got some ranch to put on top of these things. Um, ketchup back there because I'm going to make some meatballs, and I use ketchup and brown sugar. I got these pretzels kind of for the charcuterie board and maybe the dip. I'm not sure. Um, this is all for charcuterie board and like a salad. So we'll go through it really quick. Um, seasoned croutons back there. I got cranberries, pecans. This is all for salad. This is my favorite kind of salad. It's like a spring mix. And then I always get arugula to put in it because that makes the salad for sure. And then I have some broccoli over here, cucumbers, uh, zucchini. I put this all in the salad. For my charcuterie board, I um, actually have radishes that I put in the salad too. Okay, sorry guys, battery died. We'll jump right back in. So this is all the things for my charcuterie board. I have this trio of salami, copa, and I have no idea how to say this, but all yummy. I have some Havarti cheese, Colby Jack. Um, I'm gonna put some grapes, and there is some other stuff, it's just not here. I got two of these coffee creamers because we were out and we needed some. Um, this is, I'm a the coconut fan, and this is for my husband, French Vanilla. This was awesome because this has um, the American flag on it. It was um, 99 cents, and I have to take a meal to somebody on Monday, so that was so perfect that I could get the pan and lid for uh, 99 cents, and I think there's actually two in there, so... Watch out for deals like that. This is my, this is some of my overflow. Sorry if you can hear my tower garden in the background. This is gonna go on my charcuterie board. It's goat cheese with wild blueberries. Oh my gosh, you guys, they sell this at Walmart too. It's so good. Don't let it, don't be afraid of it. It's amazing. For charcuterie board, I got strawberries, blackberries. I got some cream cheese to put in here and I'm actually going to make like a roll up with some olives and um, chili peppers. I'll show you guys that. It's so good. These were on sale, this watermelon, so it was buy one get one. So these were actually $10, but it's better than cutting up watermelon. I know it's a little bit pricey, but you know. We are having a little get together. I got um, these for the kids and I only got a dozen. This was actually cheaper if you wanted like chocolate and vanilla. It was $3.99 for a six pack, but this was only $7.99 for all of it. All right, so this is my disaster of a, I call it kind of like my overflow pantry, my community closet, because um, if you don't know, my house has a uh, like a house within a house so my mom lives with me and so this is like so she can grab all this and all that you know too but um today in my grocery haul I got two cases of water um some stuff diet coke because we're having people over we got some cherry coke because we're having people over and that's all my fourth of July stuff Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over to see another brand new video. So, it's late, like 8 o'clock. I just had an Instacart order delivered. Awesome. Love Instacart. I know that you pay more, and but in this case, it was convenience over anything else, really. So what I have going on is my discipleship group from church, like um, I meet with these four women like weekly and we are getting together and I invited everyone over to have brunch at my house. Now, you know those things where you're like, oh, this was a good idea and then you're actually getting down to it and you're like, whoa. So I had to plan, come up with my plan, put in my Instacart order and in this case, Instacart saved me. I know... It's a fee, a little more money, all the things, 
but it was worth it today i was super busy had all the things to do and instacart saved me so let's get on to the grocery haul and hopefully cross your fingers i will show you guys what i make for brunch for all my girlfriends all right so you can see it's a little bit of a cluster i guess you could say is the nice way to put it let's kind of start over here i have some hash browns i'm actually making an egg um, casserole i'm making the one from joanna Gaines magnolia table and i need hash browns for that and kale so that's why there's kale here i actually got two things of kale because i wasn't sure how much um i mean i know how much i needed but i didn't know if one bunch would be enough uh, that actually called for some Gruyere cheese, so I got that. These are for some roll-ups that I'm going to make and put on a little kind of breakfast charcuterie board. Um, half and half, this is actually because I'm going to make some cauliflower soup later. That's a Pioneer Woman recipe. If you've never tried it, such a good recipe. Um, heavy whipping cream recipes, I have no idea. And I think I'm going to make some whipped cream because I'm going to make a overnight French toast uh, casserole too. Got some milk and uh, mozzarella. This is actually for the egg bake as well. I'm going to make some parfaits and actually put them in wine glasses. So I got some uh, vanilla yogurt, just like regular Publix yogurt. Um, of course, you have to have coffee, right? So I got some creamers. This is a French vanilla. This is a coconut. Coconut's actually my favorite. I thought this was going to be this size. Apparently not. Um, this back here is some tea. This is actually for a fundraiser that they're doing at church and I needed to bring tea and that's what I signed up to bring. So, you know, I actually have to get another one though. Uh, because I'm having people over and I'm using, instead of K-cups, I'll make a regular pot of coffee. And so I just got some Starbucks coffee. Butter because butter needed some for a recipe. Didn't know if I had enough, so grabbed one just in case. And bacon for this recipe because you put bacon in that egg, egg bake as well. So I'm super excited to try this egg bake. It's going to be amazing. These were just snacks for my little guy. He just got back from camp. And so I got him some goldfish and he requested these for his like Friday night snack. I got strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries. Probably both of these are going to go on kind of a charcuterie kind of fruit board. Plus, I'm going to use these to make the little parfaits. I got some brioche bread because I was watching the Joanna Gaines um, Magnolia Table program, and she was making this really good French toast. I actually tried to find the recipe, couldn't find it, but she used brioche bread. And so I'm going to make this overnight French toast casserole, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to use this brioche bread. She said it was really good. I'm going to try it. Never tried it. Apples, because on the charcuterie board, um, I saw they sliced up some apples. I thought that would be really, really good. Um, I actually just wanted to get like two, but I love these. So I got a couple just for the week. This was a mango. I actually added this to my Instagram cart um, after the fact. Um, so I'm going to try to cut it really pretty. Cross your fingers that I can do it. Uh, kiwis, because I thought that would be really pretty on my charcuterie board. And actually, these are from my charcuterie board, too. I was looking for some donuts, and all they had were, like, the Publix bakery donuts. I've never had those before. Didn't know if they were good. Didn't know if I could make it to, like, an actual donut shop in the morning. So, because they're coming pretty early. So, I got these. They're, like, coffee cake, and they're so good. I've had them. Um, they have, like, different kinds of this. And, oh, my gosh, they're so good. I got some peach what did you call this juice and some orange juice um i have a bottle of champagne so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna offer mimosas i don't know what everyone's gonna think but i think i'm gonna offer them gotta be genuine to yourself as well right um i got granola for that um but for the parfaits i had some but i didn't know if i would have enough and then i just got this box of special k just to have on hand um red potatoes because i make really good um, like fried kind of hash brown potatoes. Oh my gosh, and I always use red potatoes. They're so good. I might not do those tomorrow if I get really busy, but we'll see. And then I actually got olives and cream cheese. These are for like a roll-up that I do. Or, I'm sorry, olives and green 
chilies and I put those with the cream cheese they're like a roll-up that I do and they're so good so easy best appetizer have to do this tonight as well so I'll show you guys around about those in my probably in my cleaning video and got some mandarins I'm hoping these are good I have really bad luck with Publix ones I have no idea why so I'm hoping that these little cuties are good uh, two things of grapes these are for the charcuterie boards and of course who doesn't like grapes in my family um, this is actually a snack for tomorrow night to go with our other snacks um, so that should be fun and then I got some zucchini because I wanted some for the rest of the week and I roast this a lot so I thought I was just getting a zucchini but this is what I got that's okay it'll be fine cauliflower because I told you guys I was making cauliflower soup so quick 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 grocery haul and you guys can see what I do with them but so this cost I want to say like I want to say like $200 I did get a case of water I got three cases of soda because um, I had none in my house so I got like different kinds for everyone and then so three 12 packs I know it's terrible um Oh, and I got a 30 count of eggs. So that was everything. And wish me luck on brunch tomorrow. I'm hoping that it's going to be good. I'm hoping that I can bring you guys along and at least show you the outcome of what I end up making. I think it's going to be awesome. It's the first time that I've had them over for anything other than like a birthday party and a couple of them's first time coming to my house in general. So, of course, right, we want to make awesome good impressions and um hosting is something that i really like to do but it wasn't something that came super natural to me so i've had to learn over the years a lot of different things about it so i'm really hoping that i can do a good job and that everybody will love it so wish me luck and i will see you guys soon